Hi, this is uh, CJ from Coastal Fishing Adventures. I uh, wanted to give a quick tutorial of uh, how I like to catch boarheads, uh, especially this time of year, you know, being the fall fall weather, it's the perfect time to catch them. Uh, anywhere from you know late September into you know early to mid November, uh, just really depending on how uh, warm the water stays, how warm the weather is. Uh, as long as I don't get, get too cold, you usually catch them into you know mid November, something like that. Uh, for the most part, though, I think October probably seems to be the best month to catch them. Uh, you know, late September all the way through October um, seems to be the best month. Best month. I mean, you can catch them, you know, right off the surf, uh, off the piers, and uh, if you got your boat, you can just go, you know, right behind the breakers on the beach, uh, you know, really close to shore, and uh, and catch them. So, you know, really fun time uh, of year, you know, to be catching these these big ones. I uh, just wanted to go over, you know, some of the rigs that I like to use, um, the rods that I use. Um, just kind of give you an idea of uh, basically how to catch them and uh, what what to use to catch them. So uh, first, I'll go over the rod. Uh, this is a Avenger, a Kuma Avenger uh, bait caster uh, rod and reel combo. You can see there, Avenger. It's a really great rod. I can't say enough about how good Akuma's products are for the for the money. And it's, we got these at Walmart for about eighty dollars, and the quality you just you can't beat it for the money. I mean, it's, to me, I think Kuma is probably one of the best brands out there when it comes to your money. I mean, it's just, I mean, awesome quality products and really reasonable price. You don't have to spend a fortune to get these, you know, to get their products. But uh, the rig I like to use is uh, basically a Carolina rig, or as uh, some may know it, a uh, fish finder rig. It's um, you know, basically just taking a. I like to use these beads. Um, to keep from beating up on my knot down here on the swivel, keeps from the sinker beating up on the knot. So that's why I got these beads in between, in between the sinker like that, or on the outside of the sinker. I mean, uh, so basically, like I said, you can get you some beads, <coughs> and I uh, get you uh, here from an ounce and a half to two, three ounce sinker. This is a three, and uh, you can use a still leader if you want to well, in case you start catching sharks you can go around biting you uh, leader off and getting frustrated you know um but just tied on to like a little short you know six seven eight inch uh still leader and then you go down to uh, about four or six aught uh circle hook um this right here helps them you get the circle hook like that you know, it's a little easier to catch them uh <clears throat> But like I said, you can use you know still leader, or if you don't have a still leader, you can use uh, fluorocarbon, which is a uh, hitch right here, or a uh, monofilament. Sorry, not fluorocarbon. Use that right there for your leader. Uh, this is a uh, think 30 pound. Yeah, 30 pound test. Work great for your leader. Something I like to do is I like to snap my hooks. Um, and it helps to keep. It uh, helps you hook the fish in the corner of the mouth and helps keep him from swallowing it. And basically all you do, I'll come up closer so you can see, if you don't know how to do it, is just take your line and go through the eye of the hook and then you're going to lay it down, down the, uh, down the hook. You're going to lay it down the hook just like that. And then you're going to take the rest of your line and you're just going to start wrapping around the hook, wrapping around at the tag and the hook. <clears throat> do that, you know, 8, 10, 12 times, something like that. And once you get done, you want to take the free part of your line and just go right back through the eye and then pull it tight. There you go. That's how you snail, snail it. Then you just tie that to your swivel. And by snailing it, what that does, like I said, it helps you to hook them in the corner of the mouth. You know, it pulls tight like that, hooks them right there in the corner of the mouth instead of, you know, swallowing it and gut hooking them. That's something you don't want to do is bore is you want to, you don't definitely don't want to go hook them you know because this is the bore is already you know the future of the, of the red drum population so you got to really when you catch them make sure you really take good care of them uh, make sure whatever you do don't hold them up you know vertically don't grab them by the gills and hold them you know, straight up and down make sure you hold them like this more it's like cradling a, a person or something just hold them just like that long way you know long ways hold them up and down like that it'll slosh their guts up and around and most time it'll kill them once you put them back in the water and they swim off so uh, just make sure you really you know, take good care of them and uh, don't keep them out of water too long. You know, like I said, you know, get them, catch them, get them, you know, out of the water, get the hook out, you know, take your picture, then pull them right back in there. When you pull them back in the water, don't just pull them back in the water and let them swim off. You know, hold them by the tail, give them you know a minute or so to um, recover you know, from the fight. Because 
when you pull them in like that, there's they're wore out you know, from the fight. So I just make sure you really give them plenty of time to be able to recuperate from uh, you know you, you fighting them and pulling them in and everything. Uh, and this is just another rig. It's the same thing. So you can see I'm using a fluorocarbon leader instead of a steel leader. You know, it's down, snailed the hook right there, as you can see. It's the same thing, the sinker and the beads, the swivel. But, um, yeah, so that's basically it. So, um, oh, and the bait, I forgot about the bait. Uh, we like to use, um, mullet, um, pogies are really great bait. Yesterday, what we had in this video is mullet. It's all a good catch, couldn't catch no pogies. But, uh, mullet, you know, this size, you know, finger length, as I call it, finger mullet, you know, basically the size of your finger. Um, you know, from this size on up to, you know, the bigger ones are perfect, perfect for our bull reds. You can use, uh, you know, mullet, um, pogies, menhaden, um, pinfish, um, croaker, any kind of little bait fish, you know, something, you know, it's about, about that big, be perfect for our bull reds. And uh, all you gotta do is just hook them, you gotta hook them right under the chin. Like, uh, this right here. Let's hook them. Hook them under the chin, come out the top of the head. Oh, this one's already been hooked a little too much. There you go, just like that. That's how I like to do it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can hook it just right through the tail. Like that. Either way, it'll work fine. So, there's your bait, there's your rigs. Um, give you an idea of the rods you use. Make sure you do try to use a little you know, heavier rods. Um, uh, in this video, we uh, we got caught catching these boreas. Actually, the two biggest we caught was on little shrimp rods, like this rod right here. Not little shrimp rods, just regular you know, backwater rods. And uh, what didn't mean to catch them? I was using this, this right here, trying to catch a little whitey or something with shrimp. And uh, that's how I caught the, one of the bigger ones. And my dad did the same thing, caught one of the uh, bigger ones on a shrimp rod by accident. So uh, make sure you try using a bigger rod to get them in. That way you don't wear, wear themselves down you know, too much. But, uh, there you go, gives you an idea. And uh, stay tuned, I got about probably five minutes worth of video of us catching all these boar heads. Uh, so you can see how these rigs and rods and everything and bait and everything works. So uh, stay tuned, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Good morning, everybody. It's Coastal Fishing Adventures here. This is CJ. Well, I'm gonna go try it out. I'm just, uh, off the beach of uh, Holden Beach this morning. This is a. Uh, about 6.30 Let's see A little after 6.30, about 15 to 7 October 15th 2016 Going, uh, Like I said, go off to the beach of Holden Beach and try to catch some boar heads Maybe some uh, king mackerel maybe But uh, just gonna go out there and probably chill around a little bit Some live baits, some pogies or some men, um, you know mullet or pinfish whatever and uh let's see if we can't you know, catch this big boar head or possibly king micro or something then nothing less we can't do that get there in ways are too rough or something we'll probably come in the backwater and just uh try to catch some flounder or drum or trout or something so hopefully we catch something big all right catch up with later. Make sure we hold it long ways, don't hold it up and down. It'll be real easy with it. Right. We keep it? How do you get to your phone, baby? Your pictures. I'll get it. Yeah. Hi. 
No, he won't, he won't bite you. Just grab, grab his tail and grab like under his belly or his chin. Or you can lift him if you want to. He won't bite you. Just keep him horizontal. <laughs> yes, you can measure my Yep. How long it is. Thirty-five. Yeah. All right, buddy. How long is it? About thirty-five inches. Really? <sighs> yeah. I think it is a red. Yep. Something being decent size ain't little. I got my drag set tight and he's just peeling them. Just over the limit, 29. Sure. 29 to the point of the tail right there. Okay. Yep. Go! Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> here, step right here, Hunter. On the side of me. I want to get all the way back here in the back yeah. so you can get to the corner. I think he's the biggest one yet. Yeah. Dang, that sucker's yeah. big. He's a long. Oh, yeah. he got, I was going to say, he's got a scar. He's been bit or hit by something. Grab his tail and really put a front grip on it. Right there he is. You see it? Something just splashed. It's big. Yeah. 